Hello guys, I'm trying to record with gloves on. Um, the snow solar panels are under there somewhere. Uh, well, here's a raised bit of a hump, so I'm wondering, I'm thinking that's right around where the perimeter of the solar panel is, this little raised spot. So there's one laying down below that, and then there'll be one here and probably one here. But I've got to dig through all of this. There's my knee. I've got to dig through all of this to get to there. Now, the wind was blowing, so it right here, right by the house, the corner of the house, it's lower. And right here, it's a bit lower. And then there's higher spots. It looks to me like we got an average of 18 inches. It's two foot in front of the house. But it looks to me like maybe 18 inches average. So I don't want to lie to you. From looking out here, it's over two feet, but over there it's not, so it averages out. There's deeper spots and not so deep spots. So I'd say 18 inches. I was saying two feet in the comments, but that's because this is way over two feet here. But um, yeah, about 18 inches of snow. I gotta dig these panels out. Um, I swept off that one. Uh, there wasn't much on it, but I'm not getting any real power yet. There's no sun, and it's early in the morning still. The sun hasn't come around. Um, the shed door is froze open, so snow came in a little bit. Uh, we're looking at 12.4 on the TriStar, 12.6 on the uh, on this uh, inverter um, volts on the batteries, and we got 1.6 amps coming in on the Renogy uh, charge controller. So not much power. But once we get it going, um, the uh, the Morning Star is in fault mode. I don't know why. I really can't tell you why it's in fault mode. Uh, came out a little bit ago and it said nighttime, but probably because there's current coming in here and not here, so it's probably mad. Uh, freezer's at 24 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're still okay for now. now I'm gonna keep shoveling and try to get those solar panels out and try to get some power going on in here. Well, I went out and shoveled one of my solar panels off, and the sun is coming out, and it is bright. That set is cleared off. Let's go see what we got with, uh, it just got cloudy again. I had to take a break. You don't want to overwork yourself. You could uh, cause yourself to get a heart attack. Uh, 45 watts on the TriStar, 9 amps on the Renogy. So the Renogy is bringing in three times the power, 150 watts on the Renogy. So we're ringing about 200 watts. Oh, now just amped up. 10 on the Renogy, 5 on the TriStar, so 150 watts. Whoops, 20 amps on the Renogy. Wow. 22. Well, we're charging. We're at 14 volts. So I'm going to finish on um, shoveling out the solar panels. Two, 22 and a half amps on the Renogy. i got to figure out how to change that to watts, but anyway. We're getting power. You want to keep on going and keep clearing off the panels. Got to take breaks so you don't have a heart attack. I interrupted myself. But I keep going. Go in and dry out too because you sweat. Still trying to dig out the solar panels. I've got to throw the snow far away because otherwise it'll block the sun and then I'm just messing up my own self. Now when shoveling the solar panels off, there's a metal tab on the, uh, on the edge of the shovel. We have to be careful not to let that hit the panel. I also don't want to put any snow in this way so that the sun can shine down and not be blocked in this direction as well. So, it's taking me some time to get these uncovered, but once I do, the sun itself is going to help clear off the panels entirely. Any little bits of snow will melt. It's a lot of heavy work. 
Winter on the homestead is definitely not a lazy season, as some might think. It's not all just resting by the fire, drinking tea, and reading a book. To be honest, I haven't done that yet. This, I haven't once done that this winter. Melanie does a lot of reading, but she's pregnant, so she's exempt from all the duties, physical labor. Somewhere down here, there's the other panel. stick around it's not going away now to increase sunlight on the panels I'm gonna to have to move these metal things and move the snow back because right now I'm gonna lose half a day of sunlight on this last panel due to the depth of the snow blocking it. So once I get it out I'll have to have to continue on with my work. I'll come in from the back side and dig it out that way. We should still see float mode today. On the uh, off-grid battery banks because the sun is going to be intensified by the uh, snow even though it is mostly cloudy you gotta be really careful shoveling on the panels now I do have them on the ground because the wind here has been brutal and uh, you know I wouldn't normally have my panels on the ground but I'd rather lay them flat in winter than to see them get whipped around the yard which has happened. That has happened in the past to me and they're pretty tough I'll tell you. They take a beating. The, uh, high-end commercial panels like these are really amazingly tough so I think of course they have to be designed because they have to withstand hail and tree branches falling on them too don't forget if a tree by your house falls on your solar panel you don't want to have it break from that so they're tough. I've learned what they really can withstand. Well, I'm gonna try to dig these out. I'll give them a sweep. We'll have some power here. The off grid homestead. All cleared off. The sun melts the snow, uh, the flakes quickly once they start to warm up in the sun. Uh, it's snowing again. Let's see what we got for power. Um, 255 watts on the TriStar and I can't see 20 amps on the Renergy. Oh, 17.7, 2018 amps, so about 500 watts of power, give or take. Good will hit float by this afternoon. Even cloudy will hit float mode this afternoon because of the amplified intensity of the sunlight on the snow. Even the cloudy light is still uh, bright enough to charge those panels. So I'll probably be able to kick on the freezer again today as well. I just finished shoveling the solar panels and it's snowing. I was so happy a minute ago. 
Now, I'm going to do it again in a little bit. Well guys, it's all been about shoveling today, that's all. Uh, it snowed on and off, but the wind is blowing it away, so that's good. I've got pathways out to the truck. I started shoveling, sorry my gloves are, I'm holding my camera with gloves on. I started shoveling out. Um, the snowplow never came, so we're, we're stranded. Um, I've got a quarter mile of, of near knee deep snow, so we're stuck. Um, shoveled around to the truck. I had to get water off the back of the truck. We ran out of water in the house. Well, we've got plenty of Melanie's using snow. There's where she's been scooping out snow with. Uh, melting it on the wood stove and then I'm working my way towards the the tents I've got to get to the firewood pile. We're burning more firewood than I thought I would Let's see what the Situation in the shed looks like the door is froze open 13.2 um, volts. We're still pulling in three watts of power on the TriStar and uh, almost the same on the uh, Renogy. So we're pulling in a little bit of power. Not much, I mean, but hey, whatever. Oh, I smell muffins. Melanie's baking inside the tiny house on wheels, and it smells good. Oh, well, anyway, um, I'm going to keep shoveling. That's all I'm doing today. But at least we got some solar power, and uh, we won't suffer for power. Somebody asked me... Um, What's the advantage of being off the grid when your so, your solar panels are buried under the snow? Right there. That's the answer. The batteries hold the power and keep you going for a couple days. So, I made it through. We, we made it through, Melanie and I. And uh, that's, that's what it's all about. The batteries kept us through until I got the solar panels cleared off. And that's the first thing I did in the morning. Because we don't have any animals to worry about now. And uh, then I just keep shoveling and digging for the rest of the land. So I got to get to it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Though it's cold. Really, really, really cold.